because she's acting as if she's talking and laughing with somebody else. Uh, Paimon's creeped out. What? You mean, you used to act like that too? Uh, so is this an invisible friend who hangs out with you sometimes? Or do they just exist in your imagination? Imagination... Imaginary... Oh! You must mean imagined friend, right? Why didn't you just say so? So, this imaginary friend of yours... When does Paimon get to meet them? Seriously? So, imaginary friends just... Disappear when you grow up? Oh... Paimon was looking forward to meeting yours... Hey, don't suppose your sister has an imaginary friend, too? No way! You guys are so lucky! Because they have this game in Liyue. Have you heard of it? It's a four-player game, but it seems you guys could play it with just the two of you. Oh, Traveler! Fancy meeting you here! Ah, oh, Tone Deaf Bard! What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here because Lisa has been making some exciting new contraptions. <laughs> Why does the thought of Lisa's contraptions make Paimon so nervous? Come now, that's no way to speak about the elegant Miss Lisa. For this particular contraption, Lisa had to import some dangerous materials from Sumeru. D dangerous <laughs> I know, right? Apparently, though, it's called an Urnama detector. Sadly, Lisa isn't able to use it herself, so I'm borrowing it for a while. And also, I'm testing it out for her, to see if it actually works. Huh? Why can't Lisa use it? Hmm... Perhaps it's because she lacks a certain childlike sense of wonder. Or maybe there's some other reason for it. If you want to know for sure, just ask her yourself sometime. So, you can see them? Go on, tell us! What does his imaginary friend look like? <laughs> that would be telling. Anyway, it's all yours now, Traveler. Take a look, see if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. Do you see him? Do you see him? Ah, oh, so it does work for you too. Paimon wants to see? Wait, but this gizmo isn't in Paimon's size. Alright then, you'll just have to be Paimon's eyes on the ground. Let's go see what everyone's imaginary friends look like. There it is! Behold, a floaty imaginary friend for floaty-headed Flora! A bloaty floaty! Wait, imaginary friends can be plants now? <laughs> Hi, Traveler. Hi, Bard. Sure, how can I help? Hmm, oh, you mean Mr. Floaty? Most people can't see him. Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. We grew up together. Uh, no fair. Paimon hates feeling left out. Flora, why exactly are you friends with a bloaty floaty? What's wrong with it? I always wanted to be friends with a plant who could fly. Friends with a flying plant? Why? <laughs> because then when it's windy, you and your friend can fly off into the sky together. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. Isn't that called being blown away? <laughs> That's what some people like to call it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. I think his name was... Uh, Stanley. Stanley's an adventurer. And you can tell he's an expert at it from the stories he tells. <laughs> the amazing adventures of Stanley are super famous in Mondstadt. He's in the city at the moment. You should go ask him to tell you some of his stories. That sounds like a fun idea for next time. But, uh, right now we have other things to attend to. No way! Well, uh, that is unexpected. Timmy's imaginary friend is a ruin guard? Paimon's freaking out right now. That thing is sure to attack us. 
uh, what say you we postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being? Huh? Paimon has a favorite line? Uh, seriously? Oh, all right then. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? The thing about wine is, you have to drink it at the tavern, or you miss out on half the fun. Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. Just drink responsibly on my premises, okay? Oh, and if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? Throw you out? You know, the same way you threw out Father's legacy. You sold off his mansion. Or maybe you've forgotten. I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. Is that so? Then I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase? Sorry. I have no recollection. That's odd. Master Diluc, I'm sure I saw such a vase in your home. A beautiful one. Unmistakable, in fact. Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Like I said, a lack of childlike wonder. So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon, for one, never wants to grow up. Hmm, this raises an interesting question. At what age exactly do people's imaginary friends disappear? Let's go and check. Jean? What is Jean doing here? Is Master Jean Ellen's imaginary friend? So she's so determined to become a knight that she... Okay, that's kind of weird. Hmm? Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you always training here? You bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> I... I mean, obviously I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. Oh, thanks! I was thinking, it's not every day I get to hang out with the honorary knight. Would you join me for some sword training? Shame. Didn't... Huh. How can I... Huh. So that's how to do it. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's clear I still have a long way to go in my training. <laughs> so modest. I, for one, think you're quite the pro at this already. Oh, well... I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day, though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, Hilly Churl! Ugh, thanks. Shoot, I got so caught up here I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. Ugh, but I'm so sore from training. I can hardly move. Honorary Knight, could you deliver a message to Jack for me? He's gone adventuring at the Temple of the Lion with Stanley today. Stanley's a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. He once set foot in the Mare Javari. We were going to meet up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> could you let him know it'll have to be another day? Great! Thank you so much. We explored this place once before, didn't we? During the Storm Terror incident. Seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. Looks like we can't go any further. We didn't bag all the loot last time! Not to worry. Allow me. Those who wander in the dust, the wind shall send soaring sky high. Brace 
Brace yourself. <laughs> Wouldn't gliding be faster? I was so sure I was about to die. To be fair, that could have gone either way. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you. Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure together. She'll join you some other time. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find me. And then had to rescue me. Huh? I don't see what all the fuss is about. It was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. Whoa! You are Stanley? You are that legendary adventurer? Renowned in all of Mondstadt? Who once set foot in the Mare Javari? <laughs> the very same. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back or head further inside? <laughs> well, I think you're now in the safe hands of Stanley. The Great Explorer and Legend of Mondstadt. In which case, why head back now? Okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. So, I'm guessing you mostly came here because you want to hear my adventure stories. Am I right? No, we really were just looking for Jack. What? Do you know who I am? I am Stanley, renowned adventurer of Mondstadt. Yeah, I think we got that. Well, your attitude says you don't got that. I am Stanley, the living legend. Stanley who braved the man Javari. Enough already! Ugh. Stop name dropping yourself every time you open your mouth! It's true though. Stanley is the most amazing guy. <laughs> well, Jack would listen, won't you? Where was I? You and your partner reached the Mare Javari, a famously terrifying place with not a whisper of wind. Precisely! There was a deathly silence in the air. A sea of ashes stretched out before us, as far as the eye could see. Suddenly, my partner was caught in a whirlpool ripped up by an evil beast. Luckily, 
I managed to grab hold of him just in time. Wow. So, did he make it? Sadly, in the end, I alone was able to set foot on Holy Grail once more. With a gentle breeze carried away the tears welling up in my eyes. <laughs> that poor guy. How could that happen? Jack! You can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventurer. I, I know. Because an adventurer's proudest achievement is to die in the course of their final adventure. But whatever happens, no adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. That's right. To die in a place where the wind blows, and to have your spirit carried back to Mondstadt on the wind, that's... that's... Yeah. Although, the most I can aspire to right now is beginner's commissions. Like clearing up the slimes, clogging up the sewers. You shouldn't die in a place with no wind. Why do they keep going on about that? Hmm, is that why Stanley thinks the Mare Javari is the most terrifying place in the world? Because there's no wind there? Brace yourself! Doesn't look good. Oh, huh. go, Barbara, go! Oh. Hi. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Oh, hi. Huh. Ouchie. <laughs> Gotta keep trying. I've made a small discovery. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. Oh, you thought so too, huh? I agree. He wasn't telling the whole story. Please excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. 
Bye, Stanley. Do you two still have time to spare? What is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The Sword of Brilliant Valor and the Shield of Magnificent Honor. I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently, both the sword and shield are still right here in Mondstadt, over in Dadaupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? I don't know. Outstanding individuals always come with their quirks, right? If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited, and my parents don't support my goals one bit. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. But, I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Aw, poor Jack. Let's help him out. Venti, you coming too? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. Uh, Dada Upa Gorge, was it? <laughs> Let's hurry, there's no time to lose. <laughs>